here we are. The annual Art Hop is out, up and running, and we find you an artist extraordinaire. Daniel Ellis, congratulations on your beautiful work. Thank you. Yes, take me back to, well, day one. How did you get started in art? Well, day one began many, many years ago. Uh, when I was uh, about 11 years old, my father took me to visit one of my relatives who was painting an oil painting at the time. And from that point on, I never wondered like what I wanted to be when I grow up. The route it took to get there, you know, that varied and had ups and downs, but um, I always wanted to be an artist when I grew up. And eventually I became that. Yay! And how do you describe today's art? I'm a conventional painter with oil paints, watercolors, uh, pastels, I use all the mediums because I, I just can't help myself. <laughs> One just, one media just doesn't satisfy me, it seems. Uh, and also, I, uh, I ventured into the digital world where, uh, where you create paintings um, on a computer. And that's, to me, it's another, it's just another media. Uh, just as all uh, watercolors and digital is another media, and I love it. Just. Can't get enough of it. So tell me about this piece. Okay, this piece here. The composition was posed, was put together from different aspects of different uh, sources, and the the background, the might, the dramatic uh, mountain background. Here. Yeah, uh, that was taken from one source. Uh, the individuals were taken from was taken from another source, where a, a photograph and uh, and just blend it into the composition and it's just putting different elements together to come out with uh, a digital painting. So what or whom do you paint? Uh, and examples are up on the wall. Well, you know, portraits is sort of, you know, my thing. Uh, and uh, this, that's the area that I, um, that I, you know, I'm drawn to. Um, now this painting here was my Black History uh, painting of Booker T. Washington. Tell me how this picture came to life. This media is a mixed media. It's uh, watercolor or uh, what they call gouache, uh, colored pencils, pastels, a mixture of a lot of things. Um, and illustrators typically work like that. It's, it's no set, uh, set media. You know, Anything goes, because you're looking for a special, different effect, and illustrators are able to achieve that using different, different medias together to come out with a, a digital painting. But describe more of a digital painting. So are you working with a computer? Oh yes, digital is always computer. Yeah. Um, how about the yeah. coloring? How did, you, how did you work with the shadows and the coloring? See, see that right there, that was, that's, to me is what makes composition, the, the contrast, the shadows, the color balance. Those are all things that, uh, that determines a good composition, not whether it was done on a computer or not. So those, those elements you just mentioned, those are the things that you take in consideration when you're painting, when you're painting a oil painting. And it's the same, the same things you can take into consideration when you're doing a digital painting. So really it's all one and the same. How do you know what to choose and display at say an art hop like we're, we're attending? Well, you know, I always try to be me, you know, and uh, anything that represents me. And I try to display the times. A great quote that I heard by Nina Simone, we as artists, we are to reflect our times. And through my artwork, I try to, to reflect the times. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.